What is Camtasia Rev? Let me show you. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so recently Camtasia has released this new thing called Rev, Camtasia Rev. And you're looking at it right now. Basically, in a nutshell, what it is, it's a workflow that allows you to set up the beginning of your editing project a lot simpler. Now, currently at the time of filming this video, this is for Camtasia 2023, the latest version, and it only works when you do a screencast recording. I asked if you could input other media that wasn't recorded with screencast recording and if it would trigger the Camtasia Rev, but currently it does not. So this Camtasia Rev will work best if you do screencast recordings, and I do a lot of screencast recordings, so I'm pretty excited about this new feature. So after you've recorded your screencast recording, when you have turned on the Camtasia Rev feature, and remember, this has to be done before you do the recording, this is what's gonna pop up on the screen. It's gonna go Camtasia Rev, and there's a bunch of options that are going to be happening and they take you through everything. Right here is the screencast recording that I just did of a tutorial where I was talking about Facebook and YouTube. The first option here is going to be choosing your size of your video. And currently it has, you know, original recording size, wide, and you can see here it says YouTube and LinkedIn, vertical, which is stuff for like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts, or one-to-one, -one, which is square, which is for LinkedIn, and also Instagram. So because I'm wanting to upload this video, this tutorial video to YouTube, I'm gonna to wanna to choose wide, and it's already chosen, right? You can move it just like this if you wanna see what it looks like. And even though it looks like this, right? And you're like, oh, well, it's all like that at the bottom. You can actually just change stuff later on when you get onto the timeline. This is more of like a pre-setup to get going faster. So I'm gonna click wide, and then you wanna just go through all the options here, layout. So now it's going to ask you, what kind of layout do you want? So I just recorded my screen and I didn't actually have myself, but you can see if I did record myself, then I would appear right in the middle there at the bottom. This one's down here to the right. This one's in a circle over here to the right. This one's in a square or sorry, rectangle to the left. And so you can go through and choose a bunch of different options here. So I can choose this one, this one, this here. You can see that if I did have a webcam thing going on, it would appear there, it would appear here. And you know, it's it saves time because when I had to do this manually, it would take way longer to do. So there's this here, this one down here. So they're already pre-formatting it for you, right? Which is really helpful, it's cool. And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose the best one for the screencast recording. I like this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter it. I'm going to remove the circular thing because I don't have a webcam. And then I'm going to move this whole thing to the middle. But it's a great start because it already added corner rounding and it already added shadow. So when you're done choosing that, click the next one, background. Now it's got a bunch of backgrounds here that's going on. And what's cool is this background moves. So it, it's like got a light thing going on and it's got a gradient that's actually moving, which is a nice professional feature look. So you want to go through and choose which one works best for your color palette. Again, you can also change this afterwards. So if you're going through all this and you're like, oh, none of them are my color palettes, that's okay. You can just choose the gradient that you might like. Like for example, this gradient has one, two, three, four different colors going on. And you might like that. So you can choose that, but change the colors completely. Or this one is more of a softer blend, right? Or maybe I like this one right here. There's a little bit too much peach there. Or maybe this one right here. This one's the closest to our branding colors and then I can change it later on. And so they have like a whole bunch here even more down at the bottom. Next is effects. So you can see the ones that have yellow are already chosen. So it already has a drop shadow, as you can see. It already has corner rounding and it already has this mask thing 
going on here. And cursor scale. You can go through and add some more stuff. Again, if you don't see anything, if you don't see something here, you can actually add it later. This is just to save you time. So what I want to do is I want my cursor colored. Now I don't actually want it yellow, but I'm going to change it after, after when I get in there. And I want cursor highlight as well, and perhaps cursor shadow. Do I want reflection? I don't think I care about the reflection for this video. If I uncheck mask, oh, then it turns it into a square. I'll just leave that and then I'm actually going to delete that. So you can see by just clicking it, it just makes it so much easier, right? When you're done with that, head to filters. Now this filters only applies to when you have a webcam video going on. So I don't, so that's why you can see all these, but this means like a, you know, like a purple haze going on or an aqua color over your video. But this won't apply to me, so I'm not going to choose any of them. When I'm done, click edit in Camtasia. All right, so you can see that it's built out everything here for me. So now it's actually made this easier. So I'm just going to shrink this a little bit so that I can work with the timeline a little easier. And I'm gonna separate audio and video because I only need the audio. I don't need this recording part, the camera, right? And I'm gonna delete that. Now I actually left this on on purpose to show you guys what it would look like when you would have a camera on. But normally when I'm just recording like a regular screencast recording, I would just uh, not have this on altogether. But it was just for this tutorial video. So I'm gonna click delete. And then now I'm going to push this one back down. So first thing here is I wanted to center this. So I'm gonna center this, move it down in the middle here. And then I'm actually gonna do some changes. So I don't like having all this stuff showing in my videos, so I'm gonna actually do that and do this. I feel that it's a much cleaner look. And so I'm going to make this bigger, make this bigger, and then center it. And then the corner rounding, I feel is a little bit too strong meaning like it's too much rounded. So I actually want to lower that. I still like to have a bit of the corner feel to it. So I'm going to crank it one more time, 80. Okay, so that's the actual video. That looks fine. Now we want to go to the cursor effects and correct that because it's a little bit too big. It's a little bit huge. So we're going to lower this down a little bit and then I'm going to change the color because I want the color to, let's see here. What I like to do is go a little lighter. So maybe we'll go over here, maybe go a little bit more blue, go lighter, something like that. And then the highlight, I'm going to change it to the same kind of purple, but I'm going to make it bigger just like that. And then I'm okay with the shadow. Now, all that's left to do is to add my audio that I usually add. I usually add a noise removal. It makes the audio sound a lot better. And then there we go. In a much shorter time, I've got all this going on. And now I can go through and edit my video and remove the dead air, remove the mistakes, and edit my video as normal. So that was Camtasia Rev. I'm digging it so far. I really like it. My only thing is I wish that they would allow for non-screencast recording media. Like if I wanted to do, uh, you know, input some cell phone footage or GoPro footage or images. So maybe they're working on that. I hope they are, but I'm loving Camtasia Rev. I think it's so cool. If you are doing screencast recordings, I definitely recommend trying this out. It's going to save you some time. All right, hit the thumbs up button if you are excited for this new feature and are going to try it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.